Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to update your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch to a US iOS 10.3.1. So, if you're in iOS 9 and updating, make sure to make a backup in your computer using iTunes, which is a free program for PC. If you guys are just making a small update from uh, iOS 10 to 10.3.1, then don't worry about it. It's a smaller update, so you guys can just make the backup on your iCloud. So, before you would scroll down and go to iCloud, to make your backup. Um, however, if you're rating 10.3 and you're just updating to 0.1, then you guys will see this up here. So under AC Cabaro, which that's the setting that I have right now for this temporary phone, um, you just go right into it. And from there, you guys are gonna see iCloud. So that's gonna be this option right here. Under iCloud, you guys will just have to scroll down and right here you guys will see iCloud backup as your last option right there just back it up yourselves okay so right at this moment put backup now so make that backup once that backup is done just go all the way back and from there just go into settings okay so if you're in settings just go into general under general your second option will be software update under software update just let it low for a little bit make sure you're connected to wi-fi make sure you have at least 50 percent of your battery and even if you do have like 55, 60%, make sure to just hook it up to some electricity, okay? Um, the worst thing that can happen is that once the iOS is installing, you run out of battery or something happens. Uh, then you're gonna have to restore it. And well, that's why I, make, I made you guys make this backup just in case. So the first things that you guys have to do is download it, okay? So here you got put your passcode after you put that in it will start to download how long will this take well it really depends on your internet connectivity but usually from five to ten minutes if it's kind of slow if you have pretty fast internet it shouldn't take more than three minutes to download this update again it's a pretty small one and to install it it shouldn't take more than 10 minutes um, again, depending what iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch you guys have. However, um, this could take usually around five minutes if you have an iPhone 6S, for example. Um, if it's taking more than that, don't worry about it. Sometimes it, it can happen. If, um, for example, you have a lot of storage happening in your phone, and if it's almost full or something like that, it does make your iPhone slower. Same thing goes for iPads, so I put touches. Um, the more memory you have in there filled up, that means the slower it will be. So I wouldn't worry about it unless it's been there for a whole day or two or three hours, then yeah, unfortunately it might be time to restore. And um, again, that's why I make you guys make that backup before we did anything. Anyways, um, after this point, your phone will restart. You guys will see a white screen, your app logo, loading bar. Once the loading bar is done, it's just gonna kind of restart and you're done. That's it for the update. It's a quick update, like I said, and that's it. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here below in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.